Hello, welcome back to Brenda Sushi Live Loading. In this episode, I'm gonna continue with um, our um, kind of stripes, circular stripes that we've been working um, in, in, the, in the previous live loading. Um, this design, I, I, I want to recreate using spare chalk inside Blender. Um, this was actually inspired by um, this procedure, this uh, example by Professor Akiyoshi Kitaoka. Um, uh, that's him. I think this is um, based on his books on um, like ice, illu ice illusion and psychology and you'll see a lot of spiraling things and then a lot of interesting kind of eye tricks that you might recognize. Um, I recommend you to look at his book but I got one, one example right here that I recreate using Blender, um, Spreadshop add-on. Um, of course, this is building up from what we have previously. So remember, we have the stripes um, already, and the stripes, and then the stripes number needs to be an even number. In this case, I just make it like 24, and then for each stripe, we we need to give it like um, this two color. That's gonna be repeated, and then. Once we have that pattern, we can actually simply um, kind of scaling. Um, this can be done actually using array modifier. Um, and then until we get this kind of pattern, that's kind of like um, lots of circles. This kind of confuse our brain a little bit into thinking of this like um, kind of like spiral. I think if you look at it, um, well, in this, I'm going to show you. So basically, we start with this this guy, okay, 24 stripes, black and white, um, um, continuously like repeating itself. And then we have this guy that I generate using Spreadshop. I will explain how to create this, uh, this pattern. And then what happened next is we kind of stagger the stripe as well. And for that, I'm using Blender modifier. And, you know, if we look at it in 3D, it's looking something like this. I basically stagger um, the stripe as well. Um, so it's looking something like this. If I go to the top and then I have the empty kind of stagger it. So we have these stripes now. Um, I think it's around 15 degree and we get a good exactly exact value. Uh, now once we have this and I turn on this you can see our eyes start start to spin like spiraling. I think this is because of the the effects of the this cylinder as well. Something that looks like a cylinder, and it's kind of going this way, counterclockwise. And then we have this guy that's kind of. Um, I think this should go the other way around. Or let me check. Uh, this one. So blue blue and yellow white blue and yellow white okay it's actually correct it's got it's going kind of going counterclockwise looks like i think that's because of the our eyes um, or our brains being tricked in, to see this as a kind of like a 3d um anyway that's really interesting in itself um so how did I create this? We already know how to create um, this guy, so I'm not gonna repeat the process for the stripes. I can hide the stripes and I'll reveal this guy. Okay, this guy is a little bit more interesting. Um, for this purpose, actually, we if we just generate the outer part, it's actually quite simple. But to generate the whole thing from the outer circle to the, the smallest one, it's a little bit, kind of a little bit of uh, like tricky. Um, if I dig inside, basically, so we know that uh, we start from this guy. Okay, this is the stripes, and from the stripes, I'm basically I'm getting um, the matrix. If I'm not wrong. There's a, there's a number, this is the number of the stripe, so it's 24, goes into this guys, and 
we have matrix apply coming from let me hide this and turn this guy on okay so that's a little bit clearer um, before I have this I actually start from so it's it's gonna be clearer if we kind of preview it one by one so I have a circle basically somewhere there you go I start with a circle and then I move the circle in x axis and then I'm using the matrix from our stripes to generate this pattern. Um, wait. And resulting in this guy. Okay. So we actually get the outer part quite easily and if we want, if we really want, we can just bake this out and then give it a color um, that's uh, kind of um, flip-flopping and that's pretty much it, it's done but if you want to continue on doing it inside Spreadshop I have this little bit of trick here I'm using vector lerp and scaling this guy from 0 to 1 and then I'm lerping using expo exponential is in this guy does the magic kind of like um, if you have um, it's just like um, if you're duplicating if you have an, like a circle and you're you're using array modifier and you use an another you use an empty and kind of offset it kind of scale it smaller and smaller and smaller kind of like a fractal kind of thing this factor alert kind of does it, especially when I, I use this expo exponential exponential is in. Um, so there is this number 25 as well that I should really connect to this guy. Um, but what's happening next is I can really control the the growth of these guys you see how they are touching and then they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller that's uh that's really like the magic of spread chalk here vector alert and then it's doing all the funky stuff and then we just get the result we can even control the in-between value at the moment i have 25 but i can change it to 10 I think 25 is a good value maybe maybe even uh, I can get a smaller one I'm not sure why it's it's just stop over there but anyhow seems like 25 is like a good um, let's say a good number for this so once we have this the next thing we want to do is just to colorize it and for that of course I'm using the Vertex color, just like the the stripes. Um, similar, very very similar. You just uh, repeat, like zero one zero one zero one. So whatever get this, like uh, index zero, we get this color. Um, and we also have another color, which is the second number. Uh, whatever get a digit zero, get the first color the other one get this color except the difference is like for every for every 24 so we have like a 24 circle if you lay it up on the row like this we have 24 every 24 this guy actually gets shifted so this if this get like 0 1 0 1 the next line should be 1 0 one zero so that's the only tricky bits and then for for that 
part I am actually using um, kind of offset here in the number and then I'm using this uh, integer division so if you look at it if you look at this guy um, here you see it's like 0000, 000, 000 for 24 time and then the next click it get offset by 1 that's why we have this staggering value for the holding um, if we simplify this guy we really we, really, we don't need to use uh, this kind of complexity but I, I think that's actually the most interesting part if we just want the outer part and then want to stagger it using array and offset modifier that's that's fine as well that will work um, totally um, maybe I should show you that um, just to be perfectly clear so we have this um, beta object I can hide but somewhere here somewhere along the line we already have the ring happening this guy with this guy already happening we just need to plug in so this is a uh, let's call it ring simple or single ring plug in the vertices vertices and polygon face we should get an output currently it's black using the same material but here we just can easily stagger the result how many do we have we have 24 of course um 24 number and this is the color one two three and we have we need this and this modulo and this guy duplicate it and let's see we have 24 plug into this guy the output should be the color for our single ring there you go that's a blue yellow blue yellow um that's actually already kind of working if I'm using the array thing um, I just need to bring this up and let's stagger this guy look from the top orthographically and then use array not duplicating it on that to that guy we want to duplicate it up using constant offset and then use actually don't use constant offset just use object offset and then use the, the empty uh, I'll just create another empty look at it from the top I uh, think there you go you know just pretty much it you can go like really deep and then this will never end you know until our eyes cannot see it I think 25 is a good number it's it gets too small and then it's just better keep just stop stop the fractal otherwise you know you can zoom in forever and ever you know never get to the end this is um kind of like infinitely spiraling down it's like almost like the fractal so if we zoom out slowly and slowly we can see we can see the effects that's actually pretty much it for this um, a little bit complicated but it's actually quite fun I find it quite fun it's um, like a puzzle so we managed to create this uh, artwork um, thanks again for Professor Akiyoshi Kitaoka um, that's already gave me permission to use one of his work um, but this is all very interesting um, pattern and then all this geometry um, I wish 
I can find his book in English. I think it's just in Japanese. So yeah, try to recreate um, one of his artwork and in in Blender using Sketchup or whatever. Huh. Um, yeah, so that's I guess pretty much it for this live noting video. Um, hopefully this one is kind of uh, kind of interesting and try it yourself and if you have stuck you can always um, use my setup here but that's not like this probably can be simplified further it's not like maybe in you find your own way to generate this kind of pattern um, yeah but there, there you go um, any questions suggestion feedback just let me know and I'll see you in the next live noting